All right, this is Jessica with Volkswagen Southtown, and I'm just going to give you a tutorial on how to merge your DMS. It's much easier than writing it out and sending an email. So we're gonna start with your home screen, which is just your dashboard. From there, you're gonna go up into your reports. And your CRM might be closed. It might look like this. It might be opened, but you want to make sure that's opened. You're going to scroll down, and under Sales Opportunities is your Sold Leads file. Go ahead and click on that. Now I'm going to give you a couple examples of how to search for duplicates in the DMS. And what the DMS is, once accounting pushes a deal through, it'll match up with VIN and if it doesn't have a correct address or maybe the customer's name is spelled slightly different or more than likely you have a co-buyer that is added to the deal that will trigger a duplicate lead. Uh, you want to go in and get rid of that duplicate lead by unwinding the sale and you will then, if it's the exact same customer, you will merge that, and if not, then you will just add the co-buyer, and we will find a couple examples of that today. So now you're in your sold leads report. You wanna make sure that you have a date far enough out that you're catching anything that might have pushed through at the last minute. So we're going to just go all the way back to the beginning of Lee Summit opening which is the Volkswagen dealership in Lee Summit, Missouri. And we're gonna go all the way to, the, to tomorrow, which will almost be the end of March, just to make sure that we're catching everything that we need to. So this sold leads report is going to show us all of our leads by source of what's sold. So autotrader, cars.com, any repeat customer, referrals, and so on. So we're gonna come down to DMS sales and you're gonna notice that there are a ton that need to be done for this store, and that's fine. It will take a little bit of time to get everybody matched up. So let's start. We'll start with Carol Siegel. A couple things that you wanna look for, I'm gonna scroll down, is to make sure that the sale information matches so we're gonna, you'll see in the source right here, it says DMS sales. And then we're gonna click on the duplicate lead, which says drove by. And you'll see the stock number in the DMS is 10105. And then you'll see here in the drove by that it is also 10105. So that is a definite duplicate lead. In the, we're gonna want to keep the DMS cells. So we're gonna unwind the drove by cell just by clicking on it. Hold on just a second. I just wanna make sure that we have the right deal number as well. And we don't. So that is something that you might want to check in ADP just to verify the uh, VIN number and the stock number and the deal number. Um, so this example also has a salesperson that is no longer with Lee Summit. You'll see, you'll see your friends at uh, Volkswagen and Lee Summit hasn't been reassigned, but Corey is still there, so we're just gonna assign it back to him for now. And he is also a manager, so it will just be in his name. And then he can reassign that out. Dismiss that task. So that's a good example of making sure before you unwind a cell that you need to go back and double check that information uh, so that you're not unwinding a cell that should be there. Now the reason that we're unwinding cells is because you don't want duplicate processes going out whether a customer switched a car um, or it was a rollback, you just want to make.
another example of a type of DMS merge, you'll see that Jorge has nobody attached to it and he is just a lone DMS sale lead. So we're gonna put in the phone number, we're gonna check and see if maybe he's a co-buyer or maybe his name was spelled differently that it created a duplicate lead. So first we're gonna check by the phone number. And it looks like we have Julio and Jorge. So let's just double check. We know that Jorge is our DMS and we're gonna click on Julio and see if he is our sold, um, which if you'll see right here on 228, um, we did have a Jetta. We just wanna make sure that that is the correct stock number. And it is. So on the DMS sale is where you always want to add your co-buyer. Don't add it on the original lead. So don't add Jorge to Julio. You want to add Julio to Jorge. So we're going to scroll down to your co-buyer. We're going to type in Julio. Make sure that you have the right spelling or it's just going to create another duplicate lead for you. And right now in VIN, Generally, it will bring up a pop-up screen when you click Add Co-Buyer, but it is currently uh, in the process of getting fixed. So it is going to create a duplicate lead for you. Unfortunately, you're going to have to go back and merge those at this time. So now you'll see Julio is in there. We're going to come into our classic search. I prefer that because you get a lot more information. You can search by um, a first letter. You can search by just a few uh, letters in the last name. It'll bring up everybody that is similar in that search criteria. So you'll see we have both uh, Julio and Jorge here. We're gonna click on both of those Julios we're going to merge those. Make sure that you have Julio in here. See, you'll see that um, both of those names were spelled different. And we're just going to click Save. It's going to take a minute for that to merge. We're going to just click Search again just to refresh our list. And we want to make sure that Jorge, you'll see right here, it doesn't have a link to click on to Julio yet because it still is merging. Give it just a few seconds, usually about 30 seconds to a minute um, it takes to get that merged. You might get skate alerts. Please make sure, again, that you're talking to your salespeople warning them that it's just making sure that anything that is duplicate is getting merged together so we're not sending duplicate processes. Sometimes if it takes a minute for a merge, I'll move on to the next customer. Um, you'll see right here now, it's linkable and it has created a duplicate lead. So we have our DMS and the original lead. The original lead, you're gonna go into the sale information. You're gonna unwind that. You're just gonna save that information. Don't forget to change your lead source to what the original lead was. And make sure your managers, your correct salespeople, your BD agents, everybody is in there. So the correct people are getting the right alerts. Now on your active lead, you're gonna just make sure to mark that bad. And you're gonna mark it a duplicate lead again. Just make sure you're consistent in your notes for this so your salespeople are not freaking out. And you have just done that duplicate lead. Here is another example, Isaiah Perez, of how you may have a duplicate merge 
This customer had, um, his name was spelled two different ways, his first name, so it created a duplicate for himself. So you have your original mail campaign, and you have your DMS. Um, you'll notice they have the same sold date. On this one, I would actually check in ADP, um, because you'll see that they have two different stock numbers, and see if that, um, maybe they switched a car, which does happen. Uh, quite often. So let's check and see if we have another customer that we can um, we can merge as a good example. Carolyn and Joseph Allison, you'll see this co-buyer is already added. Now you'll see that they're both under DMS sales. This generally means that there is a duplicate of one of these customers in here. So I'm just going to go back to the CRM and into classic search, I'm going to actually really quick just save um, one of these phone numbers to plug in to see um, if it's a duplicate. Um, let's do the home number because they both have that. So perhaps there will be another lead in the classic search. So first we're going to check under the last name make sure that I have that spelled right. A lot of this is just detective work, making sure um, that you're finding everything. So here's what happened. The salesperson put Joseph and Carolyn, and you also have a Joseph individual and a Carolyn individual lead. So we're gonna click on the Joseph and Carolyn and just change it to one of their names because they're both in the system already, so it won't matter. So we're just going to save that. And then, so you're going to get skate alerts for himself. Just delete those. And we're going to merge mo If I search again, just to kind of refresh the screen to show you what it's going to look like. Now I have two Joseph Allens. I'm going to merge those. And it looks like the same address. Again, make sure your sold follow-up is clicked at the bottom there. You're going to click Save, and it's going to give you all these awesome skate alerts again. Just delete them because we don't want to give yourself people heart attack. So you'll see that they're in the process of merging. Again, it does take just a few seconds. I'm just going to keep refreshing this until uh, Joseph's link shows up again. Again, if you don't want to wait for it, don't worry, you're not going to lose your spot. Everything is going to stay as DMS sale until you change that lead source, so it's really easy to find in that report. All right, so now it's linked again. I'm going to go to Joseph. And you're going to get all those skate alerts. And we're going to go in to the drove by. Again, verify that the stock number is the same. We're going to unwind it. It automatically will close that screen for you. We're going to go into the DMS sale and we're going to change that lead source. And again, you guys just make sure all of your sales information is in there as far as manager, BD agent. Make sure if there's a split sale that you get that in there too. I'm going to give you an example of what happens if the customer is just a DMS merge with nobody attached to them. So we're back in our CRM. We're going into the sold leads. Again, adjust your dates to how you need them. So we're going to come down to Kendall Williams, and you will see that it is just a DMS sell. So in order to see if there's a co-buyer, or maybe um, Kendall's name was spelled with two L's or something like that, um, we're just going to go ahead and we are going to type in Kendall's phone number. And we're just going to see if there's anybody that is attached. So we have two people that come up in the customer screen. 
um, and you'll notice they have the same address, they have the same phone number, and they also have the same car. So we're gonna go back to Kendall Williams, um, and we're gonna remember Serenity's name. Um, I'm actually going to make sure to uh, remember her phone number as well. Um, I'm just gonna copy that really quick, the one that is not the same. So you'll notice the 816 number is the same for them. And then we're gonna go back into Kendall Williams. Again, remember you want to add Serenity to Kendall, not Kendall to Serenity, or else you will be creating that duplicate again. So we're gonna go to co-buyer. We're gonna type in her name. We're gonna type in her phone number. We're gonna see maybe if something comes up, but it looks like it was a previous number. So there's your pop-up screen, hooray! So all we're gonna do is just click select and that is gonna auto populate for us. We're gonna click on Serenity's name and you're gonna notice that you have your old sold lead and your DMS. So we're gonna go ahead and unwind that old lead. And we're gonna click back on the DMS. Now on a DMS cell, when you click on sell information, you're gonna see all of their information, who they're finance through, what their payment is, um, the VIN percentage, who's the salesperson. Keep an eye on that. Sometimes the wrong salesperson pushes through DMS. Just get that fixed in your accounting department. So again, we're just going to change this source to mail campaign, which was the original lead. Oops. And we're just going to save that. Now don't forget to go, it's going to kick you back to the original DMS lead. Just click on Serenity again. And we're going to click on that active lead, mark it bad, a duplicate. Again, just stay consistent. And if you do have any questions, you can email me at uh, jrichardson, that's S-O-N, at VW Southtown, there is an E at the end, dot com and I will be able to answer any questions. Perhaps there is a situation that I didn't cover today uh, and I can go over with you in the future. Thank you and hopefully this helped.